falls in the middle, then the rest of the slides, we can have the rest of the slides next time, no problem. Um, is panels for which you don't know wha what they are. So these are the instruction of what is a panel and what you need to prepare for the next class. So a panel that is the first individual exercise for the exam. So a panel is actually we are going to have two panels next time. First two hours, the first panel, the second two hours, the second panel. A panel is something that happens in conferences, for instance, uh, also in scientific conferences. And a panel is when you bring a bunch of experts on a specific topic and you put it on here, where I am, uh, on, on the main desk, sit it, and each of them, they have to bring a perspective on a specific topic under their own angle of perspective. And you can have panels, I don't know, about the impact of virtual reality in software engineering, just to put some words together. And so you may have some expert on virtual reality that saying their own opinion, the expert on software engineering not in virtual reality saying their own opinion, and the expert in, and, and the people that doesn't love both software engineering and virtual reality saying that this is a bad idea mm -hmm. and, and going that. So people the different opinion, the share opinions, share perspective on a specific topic. Uh, so what we are going to do, uh, so it's a public debate in front of an audience and the audience can also ask questions to this expert on that topic specific that is going to, to have. Uh, and again, we have the panelists in a panel for five people in a row that speak about a topic, the audience that listen and ask questions, and the moderator. That is the one that keep the conversation going, picking questions from the audience, asking questions if the audience is not doing questions, uh, moving questions between panelists. Maybe there is uh, something that is sketchy from one panelist and uh, it's moved from the other panelist, etc. We are going to do to recreate a panel here, two panels actually, uh, in which you are required to participate in both panel with two different roles. So in one panel, half of you will act as panelist on a specific topic, and the other half of you will be the audience. In the second panel, we will shift the role. So the previous panelist will become the audience and the audience will become the panelist on a different topic. So overall, for each panel, we estimate that panelists will have 50, 60 minutes to present themselves and express their position on the topic of the panel, for which you need to be prepared, clearly. So around uh, three, four minutes per panelist. And then in the remaining 30, 40 minutes, the audience will make a question to one or more panel, panelists. Typically challenging the position of the panelist or asking for more information. And each person in the audience needs to prefer at least two questions. So maybe you don't have the chance to ask both questions, but you have to prepare two questions for the panelists on that topic. So we are going to decide who is the panelist, who is the audience for each panel, and most importantly, the topics, and how to prepare for the topic so that you can prepare the question and prepare something to say. And I will be the moderator. So how to prepare? The panelists will need to read the paper associated to the topic of the panel. Each panel will have two papers only. So you need to read two papers. Four papers in total. Two as a panelist, two as an audience. Not a big amount of work. Um, then you have to take a stance. Mm -hmm. The first panelist will be one topic versus another aspect. 
So you, in that case, you need to take a stance. Do you prefer one or do you prefer the other? Hmm? Uh, the second would be more equilibrate. But you have to have an opinion, starting from the reading of the papers. Hmm? So two papers for the first panel, two papers for the second panel. And then you have to create each of you, that is the exercise, create three slides to support uh, your position. Uh, if possible, with a link of some research of yours, if it's applied. In some cases, I think that could be, be easy. If possible, it's not mandatory. Hmm? Three slides, just three slides, not more, for, with your position on that topic as panelists. The audience, so the half of you, so let's imagine that the first four row here act as a panelist for the first panel, so you need to prepare three slides on the topic of the panel with your stance on that perspective. The other half of the, the class will act as an uh, audience, and the audience need to quickly read that digital two paper mm -hmm. associated to the first panel and write two questions to be reported at the end of their slides. Which slides? The one that they need to prepare for the second panel. Because for the second panel, the other half of the class acting as an audience in the first panel will have to prepare three slides on the topic of the second, or the second panel. And the, the first half of the class will have to prepare the question for the other panel. So in the end, each of you will have three slides with the stance, the position that you have on the topic, of the, or your panel, where you are the panelist, and two questions for the other panel. So four slides in total. And we will probably not show the slide here, because otherwise we will spend too much time, but we will see. Uh, and at the end of both panel, you will have the time to revise your slides if you want, maybe change something, and then submit them. And then when you, if you join the panel, participate in the panel, and fill the slide and submit the slide, the first exercise is gone, is done. Hmm? So which are the two topics? And I put here the link directly to the PDF, to the paper to read. So the first panel is artificial intelligence versus intelligence augmentation. That is a topic that we are, both of these are topics that we are going to cover in the next lecture, after the panel or later on. This is the topic of a third lecture. So these are two papers uh, discussing aspects related to the adoption of artificial intelligence versus what's called intelligent augmentation. That in a nutshell is we would like to automate all the things, so replace people with artificial intelligence, or we want to augment the capability of the person with artificial intelligence. So this intelligent augmentation is using artificial intelligence technique to make better humans, ease the life to humans. The other one is use artificial intelligence to replace humans. So you need to take a stance from one side or the other, if possible. By reading this paper, that should give you a brief background on this, and they will highlight different aspects and perspective, pro and cons, of one or the other. And you have in your three slides, and then also the panel, explain which of the two has greater relevance today, and which is, in your opinion, a panel is expert opinion, opinions. Again, no wrong answer. And what is your position on these two different paradigms? Do you prefer the first one? Do you prefer the second one? Do you think the first one is the best one in the world and the second one is absolutely terrible or vice versa or etc. cetera? Mm -hmm. And you can also make use of an example in your three slides or in general. This is what you need to do for the first panel. Read as panelists, the first two papers and prepare these three slides and be ready to speak. And the panelists, I split alphabetically. I hope that this group will be balanced enough. Um, so let's see here who is, uh, who will be in the panelist as surname. 
from A to F to F A basically or quite a lot okay and the audience oh well yes if you if you are here also next time more or less it's quite balanced uh, so this is the first panel so uh, from uh, Alboran to Favetto basically you have to read the paper prepare as a panelist the other one just a question for this panel the second panel different topic but we switch panelists to audience so the previous panelists will become the audience and vice versa uh, exactly the same surname division and this is about not one versus the other but is the role of understandability in interactive AI system and I, I try to use uh, understandability instead of explainability because explainable AI this is not only explainable AI is a little bit more it's bigger as a concept but it's the understandability that includes for sure explainability and here same format two papers with a PDF dark PDF without login without anything to read them summarize shortly how the authors uh, measure the impacts on the understanding of the people on the algorithms that are discussed here uh, the difference between the approaches and then express your opinion on which other dimension features than others or with respect to the one reporting the papers to you in your opinion are important to improve the interaction between human and AI and the decision process so who is working on decision support system should be also here in this in this this idea hmm? so how to improve the decision process through understandability explainability understandability so start from the two paper try to summarize in three slides these things that are asked and the panelists are again the same as before but at the opposite the audience becomes the panelist the panelist become the audience the previous panelist becomes the current audience after the panel that day you will just need to if you want to you can revise the slide deck so three slides plus two question in the slides so the four slides with three question convert the slide deck in pdf and upload it to this address and you have done and be sure to put the name also in, in the inside the slide your name and if you do the panel and submit that the first exercise is gone mark is done and you have already one exercise done so this uh, is more or less the level of complexity of exercise here you are asked to do something before the class but again it's just one time any question on this is it clear so next time we will start that is the 18th Th these are online these instructions on the website so you can uh, have access to the link uh, on the 18 we will do first the first panel we will see how to structure this also according to the people that may be or may not be online for the exercise um, in 2020 we did it in there we just moved people in the first row here just to have closer but we can we can see um, how to do so first panel half of the class break second panel half an hour for completing your slides or leaving and that will be all the second class of the course if you don't have any other question if you have i can st I stay here to, to unplug everything i can tell you have a good uh, evening a good night after and we will meet on the 18th of january i think here in the, sa in the same room or the other one Thank you and bye.